Hey guys, Mars Sengen here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so we just had a teaser posted on both versions of the Dokkan Twitter, the Global and the JP, uh, showing a teaser, uh, which basically is going to be, I mean, pretty much soft confirming at this point, right? A Sword of Hope Trunks as the part two Carnival LR. So I'm going to go ahead and play this here now. So yeah, there you go. Basically the, uh, oh, what am I doing now? Confirmed to be Sword of Hope Trunks. I mean, the fact that it starts off showing the uh, broken sword and then uh, all the flashback stuff is like Z Trunks, but it's kind of him looking at the sword and then yeah, all these flashbacks to the various stuff with the Android slash Cell Saga. And then yeah, I'm pretty sure the quote at the very end, the uh, something I have to do as a mortal living in this world is literally a quote from like him before he uses the spirit sword against Zamasu or while using the spirit sword against Zamasu. So basically, I would say this is pretty much a confirmation that we are getting Carnival LR Sword of Hope Trunks as one of the part two units. I think that was very much expected at this point. Um, I think most people were kind of on board with the part two LRs being uh, Sword of Hope Trunks and some variation of Goku Black, whether it is Rosé or Base or Base transforming into Rosé. Honestly, I'd be happy with any combination of as long as we get a new Goku Black. Um, I would like to see the Divine Lasso as his super attack animation in uh, 2023 quality, but... Yeah, pretty much confirms that Sword of Hope Trunks will be one of the part two LRs. Now, I brought up this page on the wiki. This is obviously the old school Int uh, Sword of Hope Trunks, uh, just to kind of give a look at what his um, categories and things will be. Because like the tech transforming Trunks that just got his EZA does eventually transform into the Sword of Hope Trunks, right? But he starts off as base. So I would imagine this Carnival LR is just going to be straight up Super Saiyan Trunks, which means this is kind of the blueprint of what we would be looking at. So in terms of links, Golden Warrior, Messenger from the Future, Super Saiyan Royal Lineage, Dismal Future prepared for Battle Fierce Battle. Um, now, he would lose one of these in order to get Legendary Power. Um, in terms of the teams that he's going to be on, I mean, Messenger for the Future is not a great link, but because it's a Trunks link, he probably will keep that. If I had to choose, I would probably lose that. But out of all the links that he does have that we would expect him to have, I would assume he's probably going to lose Golden Warrior to get Legendary Power. Because, again, it would be cool for him to just lose this, but I don't, I don't see him losing Messenger from the Future. And then he's on Hybrid Saiyans, Future Saga, Time Travelers, Vegeta Family, Super Saiyan, Bond of Master and Disciple, Revenge, Battle of Wits, Miraculous Awakening, Entrusted Will, Battle of Fate, Bond of Parent and Child, Earthbred Fighters, Superheroes, and Power of Wishes. So he's on a lot of categories. Now remember, Carnival LRs just get a straight up 200% leader skill. So looking at his categories, I think with both the eight-year LRs being um, Power of Wishes leaders, I don't think Power of Wishes would get a 200% team this early. I feel like that could easily be one of the best teams in the game. Um, but looking at the categories that he is on, um, I could see like him just being a straight-up 200% leader for Future Saga. Uh, Entrusted Will, I guess, could be kind of interesting. Um, Battle of Fate would definitely be a very strong 200% team. 
I think bond of parent and child may be too early because the way I look at these carnival LR leader skills is some of the categories that we've seen so far, apart from turtle school with the AGL carnival Goku from the anniversary, a lot of them are much smaller categories that when you're only using units from that one single category aren't like super busted broken, right? Whereas some of these categories, if they got a full on 200% team would be kind of insane. Time travelers would be another really good 200% team. Um, although I could see, I could see him having that considering the whole point of his arc in both of the sagas, I guess, is focused on the time travel, right? So a carnival LR trunks being a 200% leader skill, uh, 200% leader for time travelers, I think would actually be really, really cool. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. What are you looking forward to seeing from a Sword of Hope LR Trunks? What would you make his leader skill if you had to pick the category for the 200%? Let me know down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.